I don't know what I'm going to draw today, so we're just going to start drawing and see what happens. When you don't know what to draw, draw a cat. Things usually happen when you draw cats. It's amazing how much cats are idolized in our culture. Was it the Egyptians that loved cats? We are the modern day ancient Egypt. <laughs> Little cute kitten. Uh, let's see. Let's give him some creepy little arms. <sighs> Look, he's toned. He is toned only in the arms and gross everywhere else. Let's give him some big, meaty claws. Hello. I'm a big creepy cat with a curved velociraptor thumb. This is a cat without a hat and he is jelly. So he made his own hat by putting his hand on top of his head. Like this. Cat tail. Woo! Alright, now it looks like a like a monster. A monster cat. But we can do better. What is this? Is that a humpback whale? What is on this cat's back? The question is not what's on the cat's back, but what's coming out from inside the cat. See, this is how cats are going to be born when science gets its act together. No longer will we have to suffer through wailing cats. There's like 20 of them. Now they'll just be one at a time. One cat at a time, hatching out of the back of the mother cat, like an egg. So, no mess except for the back. Comes out perfectly furry. That's how I imagine cat birth. Dun 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 Cat tails, woo! Big ol' belly. Watch that belly. Time for the shading. It's a cat. <laughs>